Okay, take two. Gotta do this again, cause the, uh, my power stick tripped. Didn't have enough juice to run when I was doing it. So, once again, my zero charger is not working. I shall demonstrate by plugging in the stock charger. Light starts blinking. Breakers closed. And time to charge. So what I always look at to make sure it's charging. Time to charge is zero. Green light is still blinking. It will go out. Goes out. Um, I go ahead and I look at status of my battery charger is not charging. It says 70%. <clears throat> Charger is not charging. Sorry about that overhead light. Uh, so, unplug it. Red light will start blinking. Breakers are still open. And then it will close breakers and that will stop blinking. Eventually. Anyway, while that's doing that, oh, there it goes. Breakers closed. So, <clears throat> what I've been doing, <coughs> I had one of these. I got it from eBay, YZ Power. They are YZ Power 450s. They are 116 volts, 7 amp chargers. And that's exactly what this bike peak voltage is, is 116 volts. Amazingly enough, this is supposedly for a 96 volt battery system, which technically is what the zero is, but their, uh, their SOC 0% is 96 volts. So they're, they're stopping their voltage strain at nominal voltage of 96 volts, which is fine, good for the batteries. And they uh, stopped their charge at like 115.7 or 116 volts. But anyway, so I got the first one for 109. Messaged her, she put some more up at $98. Um, there's still a few on there. YZ Power on eBay, good stuff, $98. Okay, I only got one hooked up right now. So, plug in the stalker. Wait for the trip. Breakers tripped. And we have, from 71%, 52 minutes to go. But the cool thing is, check this out. Six amps, 645 watts. Sometimes it goes up to seven, seven amps. Nope, so six amps, 600, and, which is basically what the stock one does. I, I've never seen it do six, 650, but I've seen it do five. There goes seven amps. But what's cool, I made a Y adapter, Y plug. So let me get the next one in line. Hopefully I don't blow anything up. Next one in line. Plug that baby in. Now we got two going, two yellows. Still double greens on top, we got two yellows. Check this out. 13 amps, 1400 kilowatts. 12 amps, 13, so it's 1.4 kilowatts, yay, 1.3 kilowatts, 1.4 kilowatts, okay, so look what the time does, time went down to 28 minutes to full charge, <laughs> one more, <laughs> plug another one in, and voila, three going, one, two, three. Oh, that one looks like now. Three going. It's got four fans. One, two, backside, two as well. Three, four fans each. Coming. Check this out. 20 amps, 2.3 kilowatts. 
So with both batteries, this is just one battery right now, <coughs> but with both batteries, 5.7s at 2.1 or 2.2, what would that take? An hour or half hour? Oh, hour, hour tops, two hours. Damn. But so we got down to 16 minutes for a full charge. Yeah. These two of them easily fit in the back of my bag. I've been putting one in there because I'm still commuting on it. I got to take it to zero today. I hate it, but so <clears throat> see, they will warranty the uh, the charger. Each one, each time I get a new one, it starts a new warranty on the new one for one year. But eesh, geez. but so that's awesome, awesomeness as far as off-board charging for zero. S, SR, DS, DSR, FX, FXS, absolutely amazing. Three of them, two kilowatts. So 5.7 would take two and a half hours from zero instead of eight and a half hours from zero. <laughs> Freaking awesome. All right, so I gotta go drain this thing down a little bit and get loaded up, take it to zero. Catch y'all on the flip side. Got any questions about what I showed you? Um, I got the single adapter in there to run these guys. And this was the, when I bought the bike, they didn't have this. I said, well, you gotta find one or I'm not buying it. And they got it and it had the off-board charger thing added to it. I kept the main fuse and just, um, with the deans.